The northern plain is located in the southern part of the Himalayan range. The plain is formed from the flood plains of three big river systems. The Indus, the Ganga and the Brahmaputra. Based on the names of these river systems, the northern plain is also called the Indo-Gangetic plain. The alluvium from these river systems was deposited in the vast basin at the foothills of the Himalayas. Over millions of years. These deposits built up to form the present day fertile northern plain. The plain spans the area of a small country. Can you estimate the area of the plain? The area of the plain is about 7 lakh square kilometers. The width of this plain varies as you go from north to south. At its narrowest, it stretches across 240 kilometers. At its widest, it stretches across 320 kilometers. The length of the plain is 2,400 kilometers. As mentioned earlier, the soil cover in this plain is rich and fertile and water is found in plenty. Combined with a favorable climate for growing several major crops, the northern plain is one of the world's most intensively farmed areas. Therefore, it is not surprising to note that the Northern Plain is a very densely populated physiographic division of India. Did you know, not just in India, the Northern Plain is one of the most populated areas on Earth? Let's come back to the river systems that helped in the formation of the northern plains. The rivers coming from the northern mountain carry a huge load of eroded soil and debris. As a river flows down towards the plains, due to the gentler slopes, its velocity decreases and the material carried by it gets deposited on the way. These deposits can lead to the creation of riverine islands. For, for example, in the Brahmaputra River flowing through Assam lies an island called Majuli. This island is famed to be the largest inhabited riverine island in the world. The speed of the rivers reduces further as they go downstream. Due to the deposition of huge quantities of silt, these rivers split into numerous channels. These channels are called distributaries. The sediments from the mouths of all the distributaries collect to form a delta. For example, the Ganga Brahmaputra Delta is an important part of the northern plain. In fact, 
with the expansion of the deltas, the northern plain is becoming bigger as well. Now, we'll take a closer look at the northern plain. The northern plain can be divided into three main parts. Starting from the top, the western part of the northern plain comes first. This part is formed by the Indus and its tributaries. The Indus and its tributaries, the Jhelum, the Chinab, the Ravi, the Bias, and the Sutlej originate in the Himalaya. These rivers lies the fertile state of Punjab. This part of the northern plain is also called the Punjab plain. If you look at a map of India, however, you will find that a bigger portion of the Punjab plain lies in Pakistan. Did you know the name Punjab is made of two words, Panj and Ab. Panj means five and Ab means water. As you can see, the name Punjab is based on the five rivers that drain the state. In fact, this section of the northern plain is dominated by Doabs. Do means two and Ab means water. So, a Doab is a piece of land drained by two water bodies. The map shows the Doabs that comprise Punjab. For example, Jech Doab lies between the Jhelum and the Chinab River. Let's move to the next part of the northern plain, the Ganga plain. This plain consists of the middle portion of the northern plain and lies between the Ghaggar and the Tista rivers. The Ganga plain spreads over most states of North India. It covers Haryana, Delhi, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and parts of Jharkhand and West Bengal. Finally, the eastern portion of the northern plain is called the Brahmaputra plain. This plain lies in the state of Assam. So, which states of India are covered by the northern plain? The different states that fall under the northern plain are Punjab, Haryana, Delhi, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, parts of Jharkhand and West Bengal and Assam. What kind of relief features do you think the northern plain displays. People generally think of the northern plain as a region that has uniformly flat land all across. That's not quite true. You can find quite a bit of variety of relief features in the northern plain. In fact, Based on these variations in relief, you can divide the northern plain into four regions. Bhabar, Tirai, Bhangar and Khadar. Let's find out more about these regions and the features that each of these regions displays. We begin with the Bhabar region. 
The Barber region is a narrow belt of level surface in the northern plain, lying parallel to the slope of the Shivaliks. This region is about 8 to 16 kilometers wide and consists of pebbles deposited by the rivers after they flow down from the mountains. Interestingly, all the streams disappear in the Barber Belt. Therefore, the level of groundwater is very deep here. Moving south of the Barber Belt, you come to the next region, Terai. All rivers and streams that disappear in the Barber Belt resurface in this region. The Tirai region consists of wet, swampy and marshy land. The high water table creates a lot of springs and wetlands in this region. Earlier, the Tirai region was thickly forested and abundant with wildlife. However, urbanization has taken its toll and the forests have been cleared in some places to obtain agricultural land and in others to provide for the people who migrated from Pakistan at the time of the partition. You may have heard of the Dudwa National Park. This park is located in the plains of the Terai in Uttar Pradesh. Billy Arjan Singh, a famous conservationist, led the effort to establish Dudwa as a sanctuary of the swamp deer. The next region, called Bhangar, is the largest part of the northern plain. Bhangar is formed of older alluvium. This region lies above the flood plains of the rivers. It, therefore, has a terrace-like appearance. The soil in the Bhanga region contains calcareous deposits. It forms sheets across the alluvial plains. In India, these deposits are called Kankar. So, what happens to the newer deposits of the flood plains? The newer, younger deposits of the flood plains form the fourth region of the northern plain. This region is called Khadar. The alluvial deposits in this region are renewed every year. Therefore, the land is fertile and used extensively for agriculture. 